Welcome to feeding time. I am the big guy Ryback. back here at the park. Nice park in Vegas. There's a nice waterfall behind me. I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't really give a shit. I am looking at a nice, beautiful tree in front of me, a nice park here, here in beautiful, beautiful. I'm not going to say where here in town, but uh, not far from me. That's for sure. Today, guys, as you know, I'm... Uh, I've been doing, doing the plant-based uh, diet more so, no animal protein. I'm doing uh, three to four eggs a day in my 75 gram grass-fed uh, whey protein isolate, uh, iso-hungry shake, uh, along with uh, more plant-based stuff, getting a lot, all my protein, all my carbs, and I'm still 300 pounds. I'm actually in the best shape I've been in in a very, very long time and getting stronger and stronger. So today with that, guys, what am I gonna do? I debated doing a Big Mac versus a Whopper. As you probably can see on the thumbnail, I did not go that route. I don't wanna have any animal protein right now. I'm feeling so amazing without it, keeping the inflammation down and everything. And I don't have nothing against it, guys. I'm not, I'm just doing this for me and trying something. And maybe I do steak once a week. As I evolve this and I get my lab work and I look at some things, I just, I'm trying to stick with this because it's not that hard to be quite honest. So today, guys, we got the double Whopper, impossible Whopper, the the plant-based burger, and then we got the Carl's Jr. Even though they put 100% black Angus beef on the box, they just used that box. This is the famous star from from uh, Carl's Jr. So we're gonna go tit for tat, a little tit for tat here, guys. We're diving in. Big guys hungry. Just did a monster workout. I got a 24-hour fast. So this is my, oh, where's my tray? My loser tray. I can't forget my fucking loser tray. <laughs> Old faithful. Get that hooked in so I can really, really loser this up in the park. Oh, man. The homeless guy just walked by shaking his head at me. What a loser. That's what he was saying to me. All right. Uh, diving in. Guys, I can't wait. This is, we've had this. There is a video with me eating the impossible versus the uh, the double impossible versus the double whopper. This, so uh, we're going, we're going plant based versus plant based. <laughs> ah. mm. Smell it. water for this. The condiments make this great. This tastes even better now, not having animal protein in 11 days or meat or chicken or fish or anything like that. I'm not gonna lie guys, I actually got four of these and I'll show you just so you know. I'm not gonna eat all four on here. I'm not trying to do a 40 minute video. I did get fries though. I will maybe eat the fries here with you guys, if you don't mind. Do you fucking mind? That's a sweet little dog over there. I love dogs. 
It's my happy, my happy place. The movie Happy Gilmore. Chubbs tells him to find his happy place. It's my dogs. Calms me right down. Go from Hulk mode to fucking smiling and happy just like that. Just dogs in general. Just the fucking greatest creatures on the planet. I like monkeys too. I'd like a monkey. I would like a pet monkey. I think that would be... Like, you know, Michael Jackson had the little orangutan or whatever the fuck he had. The little... I don't know what his name was. It was a weird one though. Like spunky or something like that. I can't remember, but... Mm. So I think it's only fair. God, what a loser. I got so many bags of food in here. That since I just had that, I go with the uh, the Burger King fries. These are also uh, plant-based fries, guys. What I'll do is probably eat half just to reset the taste buds off the burger so that I go into this famous star with a clean pal palate. Mm. I love my cheat day, my cheat meal. I'm going to tell you guys on presentation, that double Whopper, the, the double Impossible Whopper is hard, going to be hard to beat. And this one, I didn't do, I didn't know, I thought the price, they're almost, it was, uh, I don't know, well, the, I didn't get doubles on these because I didn't know how they came. I mean, it's a big burger though. It's a plant burger. Fucking idiot. The cheese on it. It's not very vegan of them. Mm. Big ass onions. Jesus. <laughs> We're actually, guys, this is amazing. I think this is the Beyond Meat Patty, and I think they use the Impossible, right? I think there's two different brands. We're also, I'm uh, working on the dating with the big guy. And uh, we have some takers that would be interested on being on camera, having for a little date night, a little conversation. It's going to be titled Meat Hook Mountain, Dating the Big Guy. I like to be creative with my names of the shows, guys. And I figured Meat Hook Mountain is very fitting. Mm. My goddamn life is a gimmick. I love it. I love it all. 
I do. Mmm. Feed me more. This. Mm. I'm glad I got two of these. Mm. Holy hell, I was not expecting that. It's only fair. Fucking all this, these boxes are so big. Were you supposed to set this shit? Damn Carl's Jr. crispy fries. We'll have some on here just before I go to get to my. Mm. In all fairness, these were sitting here had longer so they're not quite as warm but they're better than the Burger King fries more flavor they're not quite as big but they pack more of a punch oh Look what I got. My lucky day. How did that slip in there? Mm. Two for one. <laughs> mm. This is the simple things in life, guys. It just makes me smile. Not so complicated. 300 pound plant based Neanderthal going against my entire DNA, my genetics, going against all, all the way that the, 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 my generations before me were raised. Just once, one with the silverbacks, just sitting there eating plants, being big and jacked and stronger than fucking everybody else. I'm an evolved Neanderthal. I read. I don't understand, but I read, I listen, I fuck. That might have been a little much. I make love. 300 pound vegan Neanderthal living in Sin City, healing his big jack fucking strong body. Ready to come back and take the wrestling world by storm. All right, we're going to wrap up here. Uh, excuse me. Delicious. All right, guys. All right, review time. This is a Carl's Jr. versus Burger King. Impossible, double impossible burger versus the uh, famous, the, the uh, beyond uh, famous star from Carl's Jr. Going into this, I having the impossible burger, I, I, I had it above. I, I, I enjoyed it both times I had it. I didn't think the first time it was as good as the regular meat Whopper when I had it. But it's not about that right now. This is plant-based versus plant-based. Fries aside, I've already... Carl's Jr. had the better fries, in my opinion. I know fucking Billy in, in, in fucking Fort Myers, Florida, is pissed off right now because he likes Burger King's fries better. Well, what did I say your name was, Billy? Go fuck yourself, okay? You're allowed to like them. Whatever you guys like, you like. I'm talking about what I fucking like. And you're watching what I fucking like, and you're gonna listen! I don't like it. Well, make a video and tell us about it, all right? Um, going into this, my reviews of the burgers, guys, I think you could tell by my reaction. The famous star defeated the double impossible burger 
sucks just decisively in my opinion. I thought it was juicier. I wish I would have got two patties on each one, but I mean, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm gonna eat the rest of this food here like a loser after you guys are dismissed, but um, so that I don't have a 40 minute video. But man, that famous star, the, the, it was the Beyond Meat, two thumbs up, five stars for the famous star. Impossible Burger, we're, this round, we're gonna go four. I thought they were a little dry. Thought they were a little dry. Probably the the, the, the the cooks. They were a little. They were a little arrogant when I went up there. The people at the register. They 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 just seemed a little arrogant. I think maybe their head wasn't in the game today. It, it happens. We've all been there. No hard feelings. They still delivered the goods. Just wasn't quite up to par. It's Carl's Jr. So I, Carl's Jr. You got my backing. The biggest guy. You know, if I'm driving down the road and I I, I got to have a uh, a meal and I'm on the road and I need a plant based burger. I ain't going to Burger King. Ah! I'm going to Carl's Jr. for that famous star. And I'm probably going to get a double next time. So that's my review, guys, on that. And uh, have a merry... I think Christmas will be already have happened since when I released this video. Yeah, so I can't say... I hope you guys had a happy holidays. Hope you have a very safe and happy new year uh, coming up. And it's going to be a great 2020. As always, please check out Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com and Amazon. I have a lot of great stuff on there, guys. We're turning the company over to fulfillment for the website so that I will have more time and be able to do other extracurricular activities. And as I continue to get myself in shape and it's not happening anything soon, this is all going into the first half of 2020 getting everything prepared and, and ready. <clears throat> and my podcast, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback, please subscribe, guys. And I want to keep getting those listens up more and more and more and more because, honestly, I make more money with the more people that listen. And I put a lot of effort into that show, and I want the number one podcast in the world eventually, and we're going to do it. And it takes it just takes you guys listening for five minutes and not listening for anything else than that. Maybe ten if you want. Listen to an ad, maybe. Just give us a listen. I don't give a shit if you like the show or not. It's just all about fooling the advertisers, guys. Let them see those big numbers. I don't care if you listen to the whole show. Listen to me here. It's free, though. And I think you guys get a lot of value out of it, in all seriousness. I have a great time doing it, and great guest. And uh, we got Tanya Tate on this week. She's a 12-time MILF of the year. She's in person at my house. And she uh, tells John Cena to do some pretty, pretty degrading things to her. So you might want to check that out. All right, guys. Other than that, thank you very much as always. I love you guys. Be good human beings. And uh, get hungry. Stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel. And for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10. Click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.